Welcome to the Third Wind channel, where today we're going to talk about victorious relationships. A while ago, I did a video on iCarly relationships, and I thought it was a fun video to make, so today I decided on this Friday afternoon to go onto the Victorious fandom page to see what they have on victorious relationships, and they have 83 official ships for the show, and I, was, I, I, I it stunned me, right? So I was thinking, okay, I'll go through these 83 ships and I'll nail down a top five for you guys the top five victorious ships here we go buckle in let's go first order of business I'm gonna keep Bade or Beck and Jade off the list because I feel like that's the only real relationship we get through the whole course of the show and you can argue if that's they're a good couple or not I'm not gonna do that in this video but I think that they deserve their space and I think it makes the list more interesting when we explore things that weren't really explored in the show as much. So I'm going to keep Bade off this list. And by the way, there's just so much to break down in all of these ships. You can go in the fandom and you can read like 40 paragraphs on each of them. So I think each of them could warrant their own videos. So I'm going to try to not draw it out and try to make my list as effective as possible. So at number five for me, I'm going to go with Jory, or Jade and Tori. This might as well be an honorable mention on the list, because I think this is one that would have never happened, but it's probably one of the most fun ones to kind of think about what if, and kind of think of that scenario when you're rewatching the show, like, oh, maybe they were interested in each other and watching their body language, the way they communicate. Jade doesn't like to be touched, and Tori was one of the few people that Jade wouldn't exclaim when she was touched by Tori. So some interesting things there, and I think it's just a very... It's, a, it's one that is more in the fantasy because I don't think it would ever happen, but it's a, it's a fun one to look at. Next on the list of my favorite ships, number four, we have Tondre, or Tori and Andre. These two have potentially the best chemistry on the show, just the way they come together to write music, to perform together, the smiles they give each other. The Andre was one of the reasons why Tori even got into Hollywood arts. I think that these two have just such a history and a great chemistry that it's natural to think, you know, what if there was something more? And um, I'm surprised there never was anything more, even hinted, really. So for me, this is one that I was like, I always rooted for this one. I was like, why not this? This seems obvious to me. So yeah, I love this one. At number three, and I feel like this could be the most controversial one on the list, I have Beck and Tori, or otherwise known as Bori. Now this one, it's obvious, to me at least, that both of them have some kind of romantic interest in each other. On Tori's first day at Hollywood Arts, they kiss each other, and Tori says this is the best school ever. Clear intentions from her side that she is attracted to him. Then, later in the show, Beck tries to kiss Tori, and Tori says she would, but she couldn't do it to Jade, and I think she really does mean that. So, obviously, again, Tori does have some kind of romantic interest in Beck, and likewise, but they can't ever be exercised because Jade and Tori are quote-unquote friends. Uh, so I always thought that that was interesting. And throughout the show, you also see these wild stares between these two. These, these two come very close. Their faces come very close many times, and you see the tension there. There's some kind of romantic tension there. It's very visible to me. So I've always thought that this would be a very interesting thing to exercise in the show. Now, of the next two, the top two ships for me, one of them is like... It's meant to be, it has to happen, and the other one is just my favorite because I like it. I, I don't know. Uh, but at number two, I have Cabby, or Cat and Robbie. Now, in our group of six main main characters, I'd say that these two are the most likely outcasts, the, we the weirdos per se. And I think that's part of the reason why, in my head, they fit so well together. The longer the show goes on, in my head, when I'm rewatching it, uh, the more I see that over time Robbie does consistently gain a bigger and bigger crush on Kat. I think one of the big contributing factors for why Robbie likes Kat so much is that Kat kind of shows that she likes him back. The quirks that he has are things that Kat actually likes. I think out of everyone in this list, I think this is the one that feels the most safe for me in terms of this should have happened, this should be endgame, uh, and there is very... In terms of our main cast, for these two, I don't see really any other options. Finally, we've reached our number one spot. 
I think die-hard Victorious fans will know what's coming next, but it's not necessarily obvious either. Um, but before I unveil the number one spot, if you haven't already, please check out my new show on the channel called The Nostalgia Show. I've released two episodes. I, if you enjoy iCarly, Victorious, or Drake and Josh, it's pretty fun to follow along to. It's like a game show vibe where you actually get to vote yourself as well. So check it out if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get into my number one pick. My favorite chip from Victorious comes from one episode, which is called Jade Gets Crushed. And so my favorite chip is John Dre. And that means that it's Jade plus Andre. In this episode where Andre gets a crush on Jade, we really get to see Andre's character on a different level. We never get to see him this vulnerable. I think it's a great way to build his character. We get to see Andre so sincere in this episode. The way he likes Jade is so sincere. You can see that Andre has a lot of respect for talented artists and he sees that in Jade. And I just love to see how much he cares. It's a very relatable episode for me at least. You know, that kind of school crush feeling. And for me, it's just, uh, I've always thought this was maybe the best pairing in the show in my head. I always thought that Jade had this respect for Andre as well. And I think that them together would have been a great balance. I think that they would have balanced each other out great. And they would have made a great musical pairing as well. But now I'd like to have some fun. Uh, just imagine that this series would have gone on for two more seasons and you were writing the show and um, we extend our main characters over up to eight and we pair them all off how the, they should have ended the show. They all end up with a pair and who should have ended up with who. Uh, first up, we have Sinjin and Trina. I think that they should have ended up at the in the end. It's pretty clear that Sinjin likes Trina. And I think this is a great way to humanize Trina a little bit, redeem her character. She kind of realizes how much Sinjin cares for her and they share some common interests, whatever. I think that would be a fun thing to do. Next, I think the obvious one I mentioned er earlier, uh, Kat and Robbie, that needs to happen. Like I said, I don't think there's other characters in that main cast that complement each other like that. And then we have our final four, which is like a video in itself, like I said earlier. Uh, and obviously there's a big topic of is the Jade and Beck relationship good or bad, toxic or not. And I think it would be a really interesting idea uh, to end the show with the, that relationship actually not working out. You know, the high school sweetheart thing doesn't work out, but um, they pursue professional careers where uh, Tori maybe takes on an act more of an acting uh, role with Beck and they kind of... Uh, finally release their romantic tension and get together uh, and then you see uh, Andre revisit his crush of Jade and they go off on a musical venture or something like that you know I in my head the most interesting way to end the show and I think you guys will disagree but it would, would be to have Tori end up with Beck you know through a long two season arc and Jade end up with Andre so I don't know if you find that interesting or if you agree with me let me know what, how you would pair those eight. Um, but that's been the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this kind of fun video about shipping and relationships. Let me know if you want more in-depth analysis on this stuff because I think it's actually really interesting. But this has been the Third Wing Channel and the daily video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.